Hi guys, Jason West here, and in this video, I'm going to attempt to explain how the affiliate system works within Kartra. So, first of all, you go to My Products, and then at the top, you've got your affiliate link, and this is where you are going to set everything up and uh, basically control how your affiliate program operates. Um, not to be confused with this link down the bottom left, that is for you um, to become an affiliate of Kartra itself, Webinar Jam, or other people's products that have elected to go into the uh, Kartra marketplace, if you will. Um, so you've got all your affiliates down here. I've had to blur out the names for obvious reasons, but you can see, you know, we owe some people some money there. That's the ones in red. Um, and yeah, those are basically all the people who are due to be paid. And then there's a little link there saying that no payment details configured yet. That's because they haven't entered their payment details. That's all that that's there for. And then when you've actually kind of paid somebody, you can clear it off um, by ticking them like this and then going to um, mark as paid. So you can do that kind of thing there. But here's the settings. So affiliate approval, you can have it so that you manually approve the affiliates when they join or you do auto approval. So I'm gonna leave mine on manual, I like to know who's promoting our things. Um, instant payments you can have, like with PayPal, uh, you can have that set up here, or go to, to automatic PIP activation, or manual, so we'll, I'll leave that on there. And then product specific versus account wide. So this is, this is also a, an interesting thing here. You can have like a general, um, look at this here affiliate will receive credit regardless of what product the visitor buys so that's like anything that's within your account of Kartra uh, any products that you have if they happen to promote that then they're going to get the commission for the, anything that you sell really versus products by products so and there might be some products that you don't want to have any you know access to any affiliates at all that they don't they're not allowed to get to it so if you do that you can control it by doing this product by product and then minimum amount of sales you can set that so you could have I mean a lot of companies do this because it's a fiddle paying out small amounts of commission so if you set this then you can say that um, you know don't release payments until say 10 sales has been made depending on the product price that you have and then down here is the the tax forms whether or not you require that to be done so you can tick yes there a lot of us based affiliates have have this uh th these w8 ben tax forms and everything and then mandatory terms and conditions you can um, make them go with your terms and conditions which you can enter here in a WYSIWYG. and then the sign up questionnaire if you want to make sure these you know affiliates are the sort of people that you want promoting your products you can filter them out a little bit by asking them questions so you know such as how will you be promoting our products uh you know are you using a website what's your website address all of those kind of questionnaire things that you would like them to do before they even uh try to become an affiliate you can do that here as well so i'm just going to tick that as no for the moment now um the payment history system here this is for people that you've paid. You can download it as a CSV to keep access of you know what you what you've been paying out to all these affiliates, and that's really the basics of the main affiliate system. You've also got analytics for your affiliate sales, which is obviously be very very useful. So let's just say uh, all time. Let's do a quick search here. So there we go. You can see the affiliate traffic, the revenue, the commissions paid, and so on and who's earned what underneath. Again, I've got to blur out all the names, guys. Sorry about that. Um, so the affiliate analytics system is very, very good. You can see one product at a time and you know who's, who's doing what. Also, another thing is that you can have a two-tier system with Kartra. So if you want to take on an affiliate, who then, if they take someone on, earns a percentage of anything that affiliate sells, you can do that, and that's known as a JV broker. You can see this here, it says show JV brokers. So these are people who've got that two tier ability um, to take on other affiliates and get paid commission. Now going to the products themselves, just up here, this is where you're gonna control, if you've done this product by product, how much commission is payable for a particular product. So let's just edit this product here and uh, go to 
the checker, I think, oh no, there it is, there it is, the affiliate section. So I'll just move through these first few options. We'll just skip straight on through. And then you've got loads of control over who gets what uh, with, with the commissions. It's, just, it's a very, very flexible system, it really, really is. Here we go, so we're on the affiliate section now. So if I go to change here, First of all, we can say different amounts of commission depending on the price point. So for example, if you wanted to offer um, an affiliate less commission, if somebody buys your course for um, on a monthly payment plan, you can do that or you can, so you can give them a real incentive to try and sell it at the one-time payment if you wanted to do that. And here's where you set your JV broker amount. And all these question marks that you may see throughout Kartra, if you hold your mouse over, it just reveals a detailed description of it. But th that means that if anybody takes somebody on um, as an affiliate, they're an affiliate themselves, they take on another affiliate, they're gonna get 5% if their affiliate sells this product. So that their affiliate will get 20% and they'll also get 5% as well for doing nothing really other than taking that person on. So, you know, that's um, a really good way of doing things. So there's a, a big amount of flexibility here in terms of what you uh, have. You can also choose, of course, not to have this product in the affiliate program. So if it's a product you just don't want affiliates getting hold of, promoting, no problem, you can just tick that box there. And then if we move down uh, the affiliate program on opt-in, so let's just change this now. Uh, no, don't pay any, any affiliate commission per lead opt-in. Now this is really good, I've used this for my um, affiliate uh, program that I did with Karcher and I'll show you it in a minute. But if you want to, you can give people money just for sending leads. And I did it so that they, uh, they had a pound per lead they sent me. So there's a real incentive. Say, for example, they're not that, you know, they're not 100% convinced you're going to sell anything, but they're sending their valuable leads to your offer. If you're at least paying them a dollar or whatever per lead, they're getting something. So, and it shows willing, it shows that you're willing to actually, you know, put your money where your mouth is and pay out for leads because you're sure that you're going to be able to convert them. So that's a useful thing there is to offer that, you know, paying for a lead. And then if you want to, you can add any affiliates for this product to a specific list, um, you know, for that product. So the affiliates can go into a list and so on. You can tag your affiliates, um, payment milestones. So you can release, like this is where you change this if you want to, you can release X amount of the commission after so many days. Again, super flexible, you can make this you can make this affiliate program how you need it. Um, then the landing page for your affiliate traffic, where you're gonna send them um, to actually drive traffic to get sales. And then the affiliate sign up page look and feel. You get to change that here if you want to. You can use the default affiliate sign up page or you can do uh, like a pop-up window when they press a button and then it brings up the form for them to be able to start promoting and sign up. So that's that, and I'm gonna show you here, if I go to my pages, what it's like, um, if I type in affiliate in my pages, I'll show you a real example. So this, these are pages, you're best off setting up pages for all of your affiliates. So I've got, first of all, a, a page that promotes the program and gets affiliates to sign up. Okay, so we'll go and take a quick look at that, get the link. Ding, there we go. And uh, I'll open that in a new browser window there, there we go. So there we go, this is the, if anybody clicks on a link um, to become an affiliate, this is where I would send them. And you would create your own page like this. And it, you know, it's just selling them on the program rather than just having a quick standard form. Sorry about the uh, the, the old sirens there, guys. I, I live near, a, well, my office is on a main road where they have bloody sirens going up or down. It drives you nuts. Um, so here we go. I'm selling them on the affiliate program. And then if you just click this button here, then it launches the sign up form for to be able to promote that product. Um, but oh, it's saying that to me because it knows I'm logged in and I can't promote my own product as affiliate. So normally that would be just a little sign up form. Uh, and then that's it, they can join the program that way. Now if we go back here now, I'll show you another page. Um, this is an affiliate resources page that I've set up. So I'll set up a sequence that once they've become an affiliate, they'll get a welcome email, and in that welcome email is access to this page that no one else can see. 
Um, but these guys will get it, and then it gives them all of the banners and things that you would normally get in an affiliate program. Email, swipe, copy, social media posts. I've set all this page up, and then reminds them of what it is they're selling, the product. And then a reminder at the bottom as well of, you know, don't forget to use your affiliate link, which they'd have already been sent in their email. So they will have that. And they've also got their own login to, uh, to Kartra to be able to then access all their links and see their own stats and everything. So very good. In fact, I might, I might be able to show you what that's like. Let me just have a think here. If I go to my products and I go to uh, here, one second, and I've lost my connection now on my mouse. Come on, there we go, we're back. So, so products, and let's go to affiliates. And then I think we've got the ability, if we just pick any affiliate, I'm just gonna pick this one here. I think we've got the ability to log in as them. So first of all, you can see all of the products that they're able to promote. And if they, if they happen to not log in and they're asking for their affiliate link for a product, you can get it here. Uh, payment details you can see, payment history you can see there. But I think there's also a way for you to be able to, to log in as them. Uh, let me take a look here. Status manual. Hmm. Can't see at the moment, guys, but there, I'm sure there is a way for you to be able to log in as them. Um, I want to try and find this out. You've got some filters here as well. If you want to filter your affiliates, if you've got lots of them. But yeah, no, looks 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 strange. I'm sure I'm sure there's a way that you could log in as them. See lead profile maybe. Um, payment details. Let's take a look here. Profile communications membership. No, no. For some reason, I can't see the way that you can log in as an affiliate like you're pretending to be them which is annoying, but there is a way, I'm sure there is a way that you can log in and you can have a look, but basically they get a stripped down Kartra account and then they have this My Affiliate promos and your products will be in there, so I can tell you that. But anyway, that's a big overview there of the affiliate system within Kartra. If you wanna try it out, I highly recommend Kartra. It does a heck of a lot more than just the affiliate program, of course. So you've got products, you've got a page builder, you've got forms, opt-ins, you've got your membership platforms, you've got your video hosting, help desk, everything. It's an all-in-one marketing platform. That is its tagline and it's very, very true. It's what it does. But if you want to try it out, just under the video here, if you're watching on YouTube, there's probably a link to try it out. You get a 14-day trial for a dollar. So pretty good. Prices start at 99 US dollars a month, which is a complete bargain. Um, and yeah, you can you can try out the system and you can set up your own affiliate program for anything that you're selling. Really, really useful. Um, if you want to know more about me, go to jasonwest.com and then you can sign up for my mailing list if you want to as well. And I'll send you more videos like this sort of thing. Otherwise, have a great day and I hope that was useful for you. Thanks a lot for watching.